you know, that touches on the issue about position in sleep. And we see this quite often that, that individuals with very severe sleep apnea will sleep in a, in a semi-upright position, right. recliner chair, or you try know, to get off their back. Right. Uh, or the truck driver who he doesn't really understand why, but he sleeps best, you know, draped over the steering wheel of yeah. the truck. He just pulls off the road and sleeps in an upright position. What, what would he be doing? Why is he doing that? Well, because mechanically, the tissue that's going to close mm -hmm. flops back when you're on your back. And if you can have, be upright or have your head forward, the epiglottis and the tongue and whatever else is flopping back will flop forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, I've had some people, uh, in extreme cases, they'll come in and the wife said she thought the husband was being very uh, spiritual. He was praying. <laughs> <laughs> and he would drape himself across the bed. Mm -hmm. And the actually the best position is probably prone. Um, mm -hmm. And you'll have, the, that's sad. People yeah. come in and say, I have to go to sleep on my knees, and they'll drape themselves over their mm -hmm. beds. So gravity can either be your friend or an your enemy. enemy. Yeah, if, depending <laughs> Usually on the, an enemy. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs>